Alright, welcome to our Anime Studio Character Creation How-To. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and create Stewie from the Family Guy series. So what we're going to do is we're, we need a template to kind of work with here. So we're going to go up here and we're going to click on File, Import, and then we're going to go to Image right here. And we're going to click on Image, and we're going to go, I have already saved a picture of Stewie. I just Googled Stewie, you know and uh, got a picture from Google and we're gonna put that one on the bottom there okay so what we want to do is we want to size this up a little bit so we want to make it a little bigger so we're gonna go over to layer while we have the studio picture and we're gonna click on scale and we're gonna scale him up drag him up till he about fits inside the blue rectangle there okay and there's what we're going to <coughs> use <coughs> to draw Stewie okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the head first okay so what we want to do is we're going to create a group first and we're gonna name it head because we're gonna put all of our head layers in that group so we're gonna start with the default layer one here and we're gonna drag it um, drag it into the head layer and we're gonna name it you can double click there and name it face Okay, so that's what we're going to do to make our face first. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here so we can just see the face. And with that layer highlighted, we're going to click this right here under the, go over here under your draw tools. We're going to click draw shape. And we want to start out with a circle because Stewie's head kind of looks like a football here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag a circle out. And we can hit T, or you can go over under draw and click translate points. And we're just going to move the whole thing here, kind of line it up a little bit, and move these points in, and kind of overlay it over Stewie's head here to get it to the basic shape right there. Okay, then we want to cut out the places for the eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw another circle here, move it into position, and then we can do cut or copy and paste and put another one over here. Okay, and now you'll see why we do that here in a minute. So now we want to create the, make this into a shape. So what we're going to do first is we're going to click on the advanced tool open up styles and create a new style and we're going to name it skin and we're going to go and set it to a skin color and then go up here and click none that way we're not editing our uh, style there and then we're going to select the style skin right here and then we're going to hit cre uh, create solid or create shape I guess and we're going to select all three of our circles and as you can see it cuts out those you can see it kind of turn red there what we're going to create the shape and you can hit your space bar and it's going to create that shape and as you can see there's the shape of Stewie's head so the next thing we need to do is um, create the spaces behind his eyes there and make them white so we're going to create a new vector image and name it I whites yeah, if I could spell that correctly. You can just double click to open it. There we go. Now we have the eye whites. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to create another shape. And we can create just a bigger circle around each eye there. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. You can uh, adjust them if you want. But basically what we want to do is just create the space behind the face there and make them white. So we can uh, select the white color. We want to take this and go back to none so we're not using our skin style. Just make sure the fill is white. And hit OK. <clears throat> and then you're going to go back to create shape and you're going to highlight those and hit the space bar. And as you can see, they're on the front of the face, so we need to move the eye whites behind the face. And now we have the eye whites to turn the head off. And as you can see, Stewie's got these tiny little pupils, and he's got double eyelids. So let's create the pupils. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new vector image. 
we're going to name it pupils and we're going to just create two more small little circles right where his pupils are and we're going to fill those in black so we're going to go back to create shape make sure it's highlighted hit the space bar hit the space bar and as you can see you can't really see them because I have the head layer turned off but there's Stewie's pupils when you turn the head layer back on so now we're going to turn the head layer off again and we're going to create another vector image and we're going to do eyelids okay now Stewie has double eyelids in this picture so what we're going to do is we're going to create little boxes for Stewie's eyelids and then you can you know move these around to get them to where you want what I like to do is I like to add a point here and pull this down make them like that so that when you transmute, so when you move them around later they have a little more coverage so you're not you'll see how that works out later but okay basically there's his eyelids, his upper and lower eyelids so we need to make those the skin color so we're gonna go back to our style and go back to skin go to create shape and we're gonna highlight each one of those and hit the space bar and create those eyelid shapes and turn the head back on now look Stewie has upper and lower eyelids along with his pupils and the next thing we need to create we could create his nose so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the face layer there and we're gonna click well, we can make it right on the face layer so what we want to do is we want to hit uh, free hand tool right there or F and we're going to just trace that line and then you can zoom in and you can move these points around to have it however you want it to create Stewie's nose there okay now the thing is if you turn this back on you because you can see it there's basically Stewie's nose but it, this looks a little pinched so what we're going to do is we're going to select that point I'm going to go hit W or the width tool and we're going to grab and drag that and widen that up a little bit give it a little bit of a curve you know, just kind of make it look more like Stewie's nose there so that's the nose and then we can create the eyebrows so we need a new vector layer for eyebrows eyebrows and the eyebrows are very simple for Stewie we're just going to create two straight lines and it's kind of hard to draw with a mouse so you just kind of kind of stick it in there and then move the points around to get it to where you want but if you have a tablet you can draw on makes it a lot easier a little too long so we'll just delete that one okay now we turn the head layer back on and there's his eyebrows and they're not quite what we want so let's widen this point up a little bit and widen that point up a little bit and you, know, you can just fine-tune and tweak these all you want all day long okay now he needs the hair so we're going to create a new vector layer for his hair now it seems kind of redundant but let's just add the points for the hair the way we want it and like I said you can just kind of throw it in there and tweak it later And you can make these as detailed as you want okay but see the thing is if we turn it back on okay the hair is not actually hair yet so what we will need to do is move these around a little bit so that the hair actually looks like it's coming around his head and not just stuck on top of his head there put those right at the edge there we go okay now what we want to do is we want to create a style 
<coughs> for hair. Okay, and his hair is black, so we're just going to leave it black. And then we're going to hit none. Okay, then what we want to do is we want to go back into create shape and select hair. Then we're going to select this line and hit the space bar. So what that's going to do is just create a shape out of each one of those lines and it's going to give our Stewie some hair. <coughs> and there's the basic, you know, the head without the mouth. And the mouth is a whole other series of switch layers there so you can have the different mouth positions. But, you know, we forgot about Stewie's ears. So let's give Stewie ears. So we're going to go back into the head create a new vector layer and we're going to create ears okay move that into the head layer and we're going to turn the head layer off so we can see our uh, ears here a little bit better so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to you know pick our draw shape tool and we're going to make some circles here for the ears and how we're going to create the ears is we're going to translate the points so that they look more like ears. Add a space there. I'm going to translate that one up there. Okay. Now we got it kind of roughed in there. So what we want to do now is we want to create that shape. So we're going to go over here to create shape. And we're going to change this back to skin color because we want his ears to match his face select it and hit space bar which is going to create the ear okay now Stewie needs a center of his ear so we're going to go to the freehand tool here and we're just going to create a little line right like that now it looks like his ear is on top of his head so what we're going to do is we're going to hit H or hide uh, the hide edge tool and we're just going to click that and it's going to hide that edge for us and we can you know move these around make it look a little more like an ear there we go. And that's one ear. Now let's go over here and let's work on this ear. So we're going to translate these points around. Add a point in there to pull that up. Move this one up here. We're going to hide that line. And then we're going to make that into a shape. And go back into the freehand tool and we can draw the center of the ear for that one move it around. We're going to rotate that a little bit, make that look a little more. Okay, then if we, oops, wrong button, hide that, there is, you know, basically Stewie's head. Real quick and simple. And we'll do another video on how to make Stewie's mouth.